If you had to have sex with a cartoon character, who would it be? And you can't have Jessica Rabbit. Uh, uh, <laughs> Penelope Pit Stop. Really? Dick Dastardly. Uh, animate a cow or get a cartoon character. Yeah, Penelope Pit Stop, she's quite fit. What was Dick Dastardly about? It'd just be like some mad, rampant, powerful fucking fisting, wouldn't it? Okay. What's the heaviest music that you like? I do like a couple of Metallica tracks. Uh, and uh, Sandman. That's that's about as heavy as it gets for me. Oh, I don't want Motorhead, I suppose. Hmm. Stooges. Uh, nothing. I don't like... Don't go any further. Don't get that shit you listen to. I don't get into that. Black metal. Hmm. Buy 20 of that. You know, turmoil. <laughs> I mean, you've got a real skill. I, just want to I wrote that. Do you know what? That we used to do that in sound checks in the nineties. Did you? Yeah, we wrote a, a black metal tune called Turmoil. I'd love to hear that. Oh, but it goes like this: drums aren't in yet. Turmoil. Who sang it? Turmoil. Liam. Sorry. Did Liam sing it? Oh, Griggsy sang it. Mate, where's, is there a recording of this? Probably from a sound check somewhere. Find it, make it public. Find it, record it, it's a single. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear that. Well, next time you come to a sound check of mine, I'll do it for you with the, the, with the birds. Yes. 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 <laughs> Good lad. Good, thank you. If you became a vampire and had no reflection, <laughs> how would you do your hair? I do it in the classic vampire style, the slick back thing. I actually I don't. Mean, I don't think. How I, would you do your hair? Because you've got no mirror. Oh, you'd have to do it off instinct. Do you reckon you could do your hair by feel? Uh, I do find it. I do find it quite disconcerting if I'm in a hotel room on tour and the and the and the hair and the plug for the hair dryer is not anywhere near a mirror. You've got to kind of do it by instinct. Yeah, but. What you blow dry out? You use a blow dryer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you? No. Well, how does that go up in the air then, like that? Product. Yeah, but I use that too. But I always, yeah. Well, I, my hair, my hair is so luscious and thick. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Right. It's so... take, that would take an hour to dry. Yeah. I don't have an hour on tour. If you went bald, what would you do? I mean, it is. It is. The rock star's biggest fear. Mm. That's why the Stones have been together so long. Because no one went bald. Because nobody, they've all got good hair. If I went bald, I haven't really got the face for a hat, because I've got a big outer. Mm. Um, I'd try a fez, and then probably retire. Just disappear. Just disappear, yeah. Why did that? Yeah, no, there's no, there's no, no need for it. Baldies in rock. Uh -uh. But could you not have a wig? Um, people would know, though, wouldn't they? Mm. People would know. Um, did you ever have gloves on elastic through your coat sleeves in the 70s? Yes, I did. And through the 80s and the 90s, actually. Do you still work out every day? Uh, not every day. I have do it uh, mo um, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I used to work out every day, right? Mm, yeah. And I was... I was so tired and knackered that uh, I only really started to get in shape when I started to work out less. What did you do? What what exercise did you do? What do I do? Yeah. I just, I, I get on the bike. I've got issues with my back, you see. It's like when a doctor's waiting room, isn't it? I've got issues with my back. Right, okay. And uh, I, I feel like I can only bicycle back in the gym. You poor man. I know. Do you, can you give me anything? Do you do any weights? Uh, I have to do weights. Uh, yes. So you, you feel uncomfortable talking about this? Well, yeah, I mean, that I'm, interests I'm, me. I'm going to edit this out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, what? I'll tell you it's because like shaming, you're my doctor. Yes, I'll tell you I know. you're my doctor. Yes. Yeah. Can you talk us through the steps of putting up a shelf? 
No. I am useless at DIY. Can you even attempt it? No, I wouldn't even attempt it. You must know there's a drill involved. I don't, I'm not interested. Put up a shelf. No. My, I, every house I've ever been in, I walk in the door when it's finished and there are enough shelves to last for the three or four years that we'll be in the house before we fucking move somewhere else. Can you do any DIY? No. But before you were famous? No. Nope. You must have done something. No! Like writing the fucking songs is not enough. But I fucking put shelves up and all. Oh, fuck off, that's someone else's job. I want to see, like, could you, like, no. say a tap's leaking, can you tighten up the thing underneath? <laughs> you know. No, the stopcock. <laughs> Come on. No. No, I'm not a fucking plumber. I'm a songwriter. If there were global food shortages, right, mm. and the only way you could feed your family was by catching ducks in parks. No problem. What method would you employ to catch the little buggers? <sighs> I'd have to find a gun dog and leave it to the dog. You know the gun dog only collects the corpses and Yeah, well, that, that, that then fucking smash its head on the side with a mini rounder's bat. Yeah, but how's the duck going to be... The duck... The dog only picks up corpses, so you've got to kill the duck still. Oh, no, we trained the gun dog to kill the... to, to just bring it over here, drop you it You are there. looking at six months training. Well, that's all right, that's all right. It probably is... Do be dropping a bit of Terry. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Oh. Um, what conspiracy theories do you believe in? None. 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 Well, well, they're all fucking ridiculous. Name me one, and we'll we'll debunk it right now. No, no. Do you believe in them? You do. Right? You you are one of them. No, I'm yes, just. No, it's the, I'm asking you. Well, what conspiracy theories are there? Nine Eleven was an inside job. Not a chance. We've never been to the moon. Yes, we have. Well, I haven't, but people have. Yeah. Fucking hell, for sure. Um, the assassination of JFK. That's, that's got a lot of grey areas. Yeah. The magic bullet and all that kind of thing. Yeah. So maybe that. But, you know, there's like a... You hear, you know, like there's a fucking little on Mars. No, there isn't. No. But those no. those ones are too there's stupid. A, there's a fucking home base on the moon, on the dark side of the moon. I don't think anyone's no. saying that. No. I don't, don't think anyone believes it. people are saying that. Have you ever done heroin? No. If there was a British Mount Rushmore... Yes. ...carved on the white cliffs of Dover... Yes. ...who would be the four faces from politics, music, art, whatever? Not just politics. Winston Churchill. Yeah. Steve Coogan. Paul Weller. Adele. <laughs> uh, um, I'm fucking stumped. Start again, I think, because you fucked yourself up with Coogan. <laughs> Why? Well, he's like one of the, he's like. I love Coogan. I love Coogan. I love him more. I than love you. him. Gervais Coogan <laughs> sessions, amazing. <laughs> What about John Lennon? The people like that? Winston Churchill. All right, you can have five. Winston Churchill, John Lennon, uh... I don't fucking know. That's really tough. That's, that's tough. You? Me? No. No, 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 no. Would you have me? Yes. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a love triangle? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Elaborate. Just change the name. I don't kiss and tell, baby. If you come back from a sunny holiday to the cold British weather and a couple of days later you empty some sand out of your shoe, <laughs> do you feel a little bit wistful? No. I hate sand. I don't, I don't like the beach. I fucking hate sand. I, I can't stand it. Okay. With the advent of emojis, are you ever concerned that young girls are growing up thinking penises look way more like aubergines than they actually do? <laughs> I mean, yes. 
Yes is the short answer. Yes. I remember you were the first person to send me an aubergine emoji, and I was, I was thinking so horny. It was quite early in the morning as well. It was, yeah. And I was thinking, what, when the, I'm the what, what did you mean by this? And then there was the little splash of water coming out the end of it, and I was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you sure that was me? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, when was the last time you bled a radiator? <laughs> Never bled a radiator. We do need them bleeding in our house, so they do make a racket. Yeah. Mm. Get on with it, mate. It's, it's so simple, it's just a little key. Yeah, get the air out. Comes around, actually, I should say to you. Just them, do it quite... yourself. Yeah. You should come and show me then. I could do all these things. I'll put shelves up. I don't really need any shelves. Well, I'll do the radiators. Have you got a squatty potty? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's plain innocent. Let's mark that down as a yes. Does anyone, do you know what a squatty potty is? They're not allowed to talk. Um, they're all shaking their heads though, so why don't you tell they're us? They're not shaking their heads. They are, they are. Nodding like nodding dogs. <laughs> they, uh, it's a thing that goes around your toilet. It elevates your legs so that you defecate in a much more natural way. No. Because we're meant to squat. No, I've got one. Hence the name Squatty you Potty. No, but I would like one. Are they expensive? Birthday. I don't think so. But no, it's better for your body. I don't care. Okay. I'm quite happy with the way I... You'll have one in five years. No, 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 no. I'm quite happy with the way I defecate, thank you very much. Uh, have you ever used the word snazzy? Almost certainly. Really? I must have referred to you as a snazzy dresser. In, so you've used it ironically? Sarcastically. Cruelly? Cruelly. Okay. Um, if you actually were stood on the shoulders of a giant, <laughs> Would you hold on to his hair to steady yourself, or would you fear that that might annoy the giant? If the giant was so big as to make me like a... You're like, a, you're like a Star Wars figure on his shoulder, I think. I'd hold on to his hair, yeah, he wouldn't feel it anyway. You don't think? I don't think so. Okay. Um, have you ever started masturbating and then just given up? Yes. Do you ever talk to Siri? What? Siri. On your phone? No, never. Have you ever got chewing gum caught in your arm hair? <laughs> here or here? On the forearm. On the forearm. I don't. I, don't, I can't recall. I've got. You know, I've had chewing gum on the arse of my jeans. I've sat in chewing gum. Okay. Well, what I want you to do is just tell me how these things make you feel. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. <laughs> Have you, have you made that home? <laughs> Don't touch it. How does that make you feel? What do you feel? I feel quite sad. 